Right, today guys, we are doing a simple avicularia rehouse into this Edward Scissorhands enclosure. Um, it's one of my new designs. So it's just a basic rehouse today. Um, what I'd like to say is, thank you very much for Kano and Arachnids. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description to her channel. Um, I love this seizure, it's awesome. I like tarantulas. People, not so much. Yeah, it sort of, yeah, sort of goes with me actually. Um, uh, so today, yes, a Vicky area rehouse. See, these Avix I get off my mate Carl are usually insane. Yeah, um, I've got a little one off him, I've got this one off him, both insane. So, no telling what's going to happen. So, without a doubt, beautiful tarantulas because I've already rehoused it, so you will see that in a minute. But the ones of Carl seem to be lunatics, so we'll see how that goes in a minute. Um, apart from that, let's get on with it. Ooh. All right, guys, just a simple video. What I've done here is uh, Edward scissor hands in my own enclosure. The wood is his normal wood, but as you can see, I've sprayed it black and done a sort of dark theme to it sort of very tim burton-ish but i think it's quite cute really and this one was off gavin turner off impossible inverts he sent me this ages ago so it's about time i actually use this figure but i think it will be quite a good display tank obviously this is my new style of enclosure. So, back, back and front, field. Oh, dropped a bit there. But it's got viewing both sides. Um, obviously the top bit was added for strength, but I'm quite liking this new design. Actually, I'm gonna do a Balfouri one soon. So I've got a few Balfouris bung in one. So let's have a go at rehousing this Avic. Right. Now this one is off my good mate, Carl. And as you can see, it's webbing is a little bit crazy. We get close to that one. I can't actually remember the name of this Avic, but I am madly into my Avix. They are awesome. But the good thing is, usually they web like up above. Yeah, so um, with like with my Friday the Thirteenth enclosure. Um, I expected web webbing above and it turned out perfect. Um, so hopefully this one will do the same. Um, I've had this one for a little while. So um, this tub is just not fitting. So hopefully it will create a nice little web curtain up the top there and make it look cooler but um yeah if you've not got an avic these are perfect starter arboreal spiders yeah he says that but yeah hang on a minute now usually every single spider i've traded with carl has been an absolute lunatic yeah his avix are mental absolutely mental you'd think they i think they just spend too much time with his pokies so we're gonna see 
how this one goes. So we're going to gently tap it round and get them to climb in. Right. Go on. Uh, this is pretty calm. And then they usually stun, start to bolt. But as you can see, here we go. I think it's just going on their own. Have a look at that. That is cool. Already making himself sort of thingy. As you say, as you see, look, with Avex, yeah, people build like massive um, cork bog tunnels and everything. What you'll find with a lot of these, they'll just web right at the top of the enclosure. Yeah, so what I suggest is. Um, if you've got a top opening enclosure, be aware that they're just gonna build something at the top, yeah? This is why I've done this as a double-sided enclosure. So that way, if it, even if it builds up at the top, I can open it up to feed, water, spray. Um, I usually don't, put a water dish in these ones I usually just spray um the sides the old rules years ago was to keep your avix very very humid um I lost a few avix to this rule so I keep mine dry I spray once a week um that's about all they need but I think yeah it's awesome. I keep my verses, um, my diversities, um, all the same, absolutely the same. And I've never had any issues. Too humid, not good. But as you can see, let's have a quick close up. Awesome. Right, that's another little enclosure. Done. Right, that finished all right. Um, right, I've got a couple of shout outs to do. First one is HD Tarantulas. Uh, they're a uh, YouTube channel in America. Um, good mates of mine. Link down below in the de description. Um, Spider Senses 12. Um, another good pal of mine. He's just sent me stickers today. Um, really really top guys you know I, I i think i've been blessed in this um community with making some good friends in the youtube hobby um youtube community is uh pretty awesome actually there's a um you know i'm always out there to help everybody out so um like the description down below follow the description click on the subs it means a hell of a lot to these people you know and it means a lot to me as well because you do all these videos i mean i, I do them just just plainly to give you guys ideas a couple of ideas yeah but um it is hard when you're starting out so every single subscriber that um these new starters are getting is means a world means a world to them you know, and it, it doesn't cost you nothing. It doesn't cost you, the viewer, nothing. It just means, you know, uh, you get notified of uh, future videos and that's it. You know, um, same with me. If, you, um, you know, you like my videos and you, um, you know, you want to see the new stuff coming up, just bing on the bell. Do -do -do -do. And that's it. You know, uh, YouTube's a funny old game, but... Uh, you know, I think I've done all right this year. Done all right. Um, if you've not seen the last video yet, go back and watch the last video and please comment in the comments. Um, your chance to win something 
one off one off yeah i don't uh do many things for anybody else so uh this is uh a one off for you guys to win so have a look right next uh got terminate build got a few other bits coming up so i mean my head is full of ideas and uh i've just been challenged as well you know it's another team lead team steve malarkey challenge come up but this time it's team wayne of stone circle tarantulas uh he's been doing a lot of nice stuff but unfortunately that's as far as it goes right um more on that to come it'll be the new year thing and new year day um because we're nearing christmas now so uh i can't be setting any projects or challenges until after christmas so that'll be a january february sort of uh day finish line on that one right as from me usual like thumbs it up comment down below subscribe ring the bell doo -doo 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 -doo, and i shall see you later